And guests, guests are these shows, mm -hmm. as you know. Mm -hmm. Guests are the, having good guests, like tonight, we have, we have good guests tonight. Excellent guests. That's the important thing on any program like this. But I wanted to mention another thing here at the top of the show, which is occasionally, folks, although we try to get the best guests we can, we get a guest who, for one reason or another, just doesn't work out. And you'll back me up on this. Oh, yes, I will back you up on this. Yeah, because you're sitting right there and you experience mm -hmm. the disaster just as much as I do. That's right. Well, it, in a vicarious way, you know, <laughs> right. I feel that sort of, you know, that I'm falling down a well kind of feeling. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> I didn't know it was that traumatic for you, Andy. It is. Well, I, we've had over the, uh, you know, over the, over the years, we've had a number of uh, guests that it just fizzled. And so tonight I thought we'd take just a minute to look back at some of those really unpleasant but memorable moments in a segment we're going to call Guests We'll Never Have Back. One day I'll snag me a graphic, you'll see. <laughs> I'm like, a, I'm like a little bear cub learning with salmon. <laughs> All right. Well, first up, I don't even remember her. First up is Linda Hardy. Now, Linda's a travel writer, and she's written a series of travel books about Europe. We thought she'd make a pretty interesting guest. Unfortunately, her segment didn't really go the way I thought it would. It, it'd take a look. So I was looking through your travel books, and I got to say they look fascinating. Now, let's say I was going to go to Paris. Where would a uh, good place for me to go be? For you? Yeah. Well, there's really a fun bar on the left bank I think will suit your lifestyle. They've got all types there. Bikers, drag queens, leather freaks, real kinky stuff. You'll hook up. Yeah, but I'm not gay. Oh, Conan, it's Europe. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but yeah, I was thinking more of like a museum, like the Louvre, you know, well, a place like that. Well, the Louvre does have a bathroom on the third floor. Just knock twice and ask for Marcel. Great, hot, hardcore stuff. You'll love it. Yeah, but... Wait, how, how do you spell Marcel? M-A-R-C-E-L. Okay. And make sure you knock twice. I, I got that. The third floor. Did you have a good time? Yeah, see, that, that's one... I don't know why we don't have her back. <laughs> That was one of the best vacations <laughs> of my life. <laughs> uh, next up, I got to talk about uh, Donald Morgan. Donald is the reigning U.S. yo-yo champion, and uh, we invited him on the show to show us a couple of his tricks. Unfortunately, he turned out to be nothing like we expected. Have a look. Okay, I saw you practicing out in the hall before the show, and uh, folks, I think this is going to be great. Thanks, thanks. Uh, I'll start out with something simple. I'm going to create a loop with one hand and actually rock the yo-yo through it. Uh, this trick is called, I think my wife is cheating on me. Wait, what's it called? And voila! That was, uh, that was really great. Thanks, Terrific. Thanks. All right, moving on to something a little tougher. I'm going to uh, uh, spin the yo-yo on its side and actually jump over it. And this trick is called, I can only get aroused if I visualize my mother. <clears throat> all right, hold on. I, I, I don't want to see this one, okay? Uh, I, I, I don't want to see it at all. Okay, I'll try a different one then. Uh, oh, this one's called, I was drunk driving last week, killed a man, and buried his body in the woods. Okay, no, 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 you're, you're, you're not going to do that trick. What? All right, I don't want to... I don't like this. I don't like this trick so much. Did you? Now, folks, uh, next up is Jason Seidner. Jason is an expert on body language, and we thought he'd be able to give us all sorts of interesting insights. Folks, I am still apologizing to all of our affiliates for this segment, and my apologies to you for showing it again. <laughs> Take a look. Now, what about the workplace? What can body language tell us there? Well, a lot, Conan. You know, let's say you go in to ask your boss for a raise, and he does something like this. That means he's planning on taking a hard line. That's a stern, and you should look out for that. Sure, yeah, yeah. that would make sense. Or, or let's say he does this. Hmm. 
for instance, that. That means the subject is open for discussion. But so scratching the head sometimes means like it's possible. Yes, but there's, there's vague. It's a vague uh, area there. But if he does this, oh, that means that the raise is yours, right? But it's subject to periodic review by a cost analysis committee probably about every six months. I'll we'll probably start mm, doing this. All right. Mm. 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 Wait. Mm. 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 Wait. Mm. Mm. Stop that. We'll be right. Don't do that. Mm. Mm. You cut it out. Mm. Stop it. We'll be back. At least now I know what that means. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Raise is yours. Yep, raise is mine. All right. Now, folks, Vaughn Ramsey is next. Uh, he's a talented young singer-songwriter. But looking back, he may not have been ready yet for the pressures of national television. See for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vaughn Ramsey. There's a cold wind blowing through the factory gates, brushing her long raven hair. Keep going. We're gonna jump in my car and blaze a trail to a place, keep going, where we'll never be lonely or scared. We're, keep going. Don't, yeah. Does this suck? No. It, it, sure? Yeah. Keep. We got a car full of beer and a heart full of mischief and we're... You can tell me, because, uh... Sing, just... Sing, it's... Sing? Good. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Vaughn Ramsey, everybody. We'll do that. He did that for 40 minutes. Yeah. It was the biggest, biggest rating we ever had. Woo. And finally, folks, there's George Sparlin. Now, George is famous for having the ability to catch a bullet with his teeth. I heard that and I thought, we got to book this guy. As it turns out, I wish I'd never had him on the program. Take a look. Now, you're sure this is okay? Absolutely. I don't know. It's a real gun. I don't... Conan, this is my act. This is what I do. <laughs> okay. different because technically we can't have him back. Right, I know. <laughs> We're going to uh, take a little break right now, talk to the authorities, mm -hmm. and uh, stick around though. When we come back, very funny guy, Norm McDonald is here. <laughs> 